All right, well next on our topic today for communication is how to communicate with tact and professionalism. How many of us would say that we are challenged sometimes with tact and being diplomatic? There are things we need to say and we want to get them said, but how do I say it without offending but still getting the result that I need? So that's what we're gonna talk about in this session right now. So framing unwanted words, how to say no. We're gonna talk about that and give you tools on how to do that effectively. Manners matter, even in our business setting, manners matter. Nonverbal communication, what are people really saying? And more importantly, what are we, we really saying as trainers and, and teachers and managers and speakers? So we have to always be mindful of our nonverbal communication. Understanding the importance of tact and diplomacy. This will be the overriding focus for this session. What, no matter what our personality type is, as we identified yesterday, how to operate in our EQ, and the type of communication style we have. This is where all of this will come together because based on your personality type, your communication style will be different. And we have to be mindful to be tactful in those situations. The best way to frame an unwelcomed message, the message on, I would like a raise, the message of, I have to transition, the message of, it's time for me to leave this job, the message of, I need to correct the behavior of an employee or a staff member. How do you handle those unwelcomed and quite honestly, unwanted conversations? And the truth is, by understanding these tools, you absolutely can use them outside of your business environment. Isn't that awesome? That's great. You're gonna be able to use things that you can take with you. The other piece we will look at today is understanding the power of no. How do I say no and it not offend and I own my no? You must learn how to do that. The other part that we will look at today is gaining knowledge on basic professional etiquette. Because we live in such a diverse world in our business environment, everywhere we go we're communicating, at the laundromat, at the grocery store, on our jobs, at home, in our schools, we're communicating everywhere. And because we're dealing with so many type of cultures and communities, it is important that we are mindful of manners, because manners matter, manners matter. The last thing we'll look at in this session is the link between verbal and nonverbal communication. So what does that look like? And this is often called the hallmark of effective communication. Learning how to bridge your nonverbal and your verbal communication and bring them together to be more effective. Now, whether you are presenting the message or receiving the message, there is nonverbal communication. Did you know that 50% of what we do, over 50%, is actually nonverbal? And so we need to understand what that looks like. And so that's what the tool will leave here today with that understanding. What I would like to do is actually define what tact means at this point. Being tactful. It is the ability to know who to say what to and when. And then how do you say it without offending or damaging the relationship? Whether you're communicating a thought, an opinion, or a fact. We, it is important that we use tact. So it's the what? the who, the when, and the how of our message. Tact is important because it is people-centered. It is people-oriented. It is essential to effective communication. It can improve relationships, make relationships better. It can bring and build mutual respect whether you are negotiating, whatever the, the object is and the purpose is of your communication, tactfulness is important. It can lead to successful outcomes and it can also help us to avoid conflict in the workplace and in relationships that we're in. So you know, yesterday, remember, we did identify each of the four communication types. And the one I would like to look at today uh, in comparing it 
to how to use tact or the challenges that that communicator may have is the demonstrator. So as we look at the demonstrator, we see that his or her strengths are, they're people oriented, right? And that is exactly what being tactful and diplomatic in our communication is all about. They are enthusiastic, they're open and casual in their body language, so they're not all stiff and they don't really make people uh, nervous. And they can be animated and spontaneous. However, the challenges that they have is that they can be unreliable. They can be self-centered, which is opposed or diametrically opposed to tactful communication. They can be overly optimistic, indiscriminate, so they may say the first thing on their mind, right? And that is not always good. You can't be tactful like that. And they can be abrupt and insensitive. So we have to be mindful of our personality types and how and our communication types, how they all relate. Great. That is the overview of what we will be discussing in detail as soon as we come back for break. We'll take about seven minutes and join me right back here and we'll get started. We're giving you the tools for assessing and effectively operating with tact and diplomacy. See you in just a minute. Great. We have had a great session on understanding tactful and professional communication. Has anyone learned anything or gained some tools? Great, great, awesome. So let's kind of summarize what it is that we gained this in this session. We understand now how to say no, how to say no tactfully and how to own our no, but say no without offending. And we want to learn how to do that. And that's great. So we've done that today. We've also looked at the diplomacy of saying things the right way to the right person at the right time and to get the results that we want. So we leave with those tools. We also leave with the tool of knowing that manners matter. And so now we know how to operate in our environment with the right professional etiquette so that we can get the results that we desire. So we will move into our next session as soon as we uh, return.